Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, Mari. How are you today, Mari? How are you, Mari? Are you fine? Happy? How are you doing today? Um, my day is very good, teacher. Amazing. Amazing. I'm happy to hear that, Mari. And hello, David. Welcome. How are you today, David? Hello, teacher. It was great. Great. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. Nice to have you here, David. And hello, Jacqueline. Welcome. How are you today, Jacqueline? Good night, teacher. Good night. How are you today, Jacqueline? Hi, teacher. Amazing. Nice to have you here, Jacqueline. And hello, Gerardo. Welcome. How are you, Gerardo? I'm doing great, teacher. Amazing. Nice to have you here, guys. And let's see. Today, we have the final class. So, let's see. Let me show you. We are going to do a review of the topics. And we are also going to complete the final exam together, okay? Some of you already finished. So, you are going to help me complete. And hello, Rene. Welcome. How are you today, Rene? I am, I am okay, teacher. Very good. Nice to have you here, Rene. And who else is here? Maria, welcome. How are you, Maria? Maria, how are you today? How was, how was your day? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Very good. Thank you for being in the class, Maria. So, guys, did everybody finish the final exam or who hasn't finished? Everybody finished? Yes, teacher. Finish. Okay, very good, Mari. Yes, finish. teacher. Okay, very good, Rene. What about you, David, Jacqueline, Maria? Did you finish? No, I'm not. Oh, no. Finish. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. some of you finished, some didn't finish. So let's see, we are going to do the exam together. Okay, so the ones who already finished, you are going to help me, okay? So let's begin with the final exam. 22 questions. Go with this one. Okay, so in this one, we are going to read. So help me read. Let's begin with Mari. Can you help me read this paragraph, Mari, please? Okay, teacher. And um, what do these people have in common in a bunker in Mexico City, I, a waiter in a five-star hotel in Moscow, and a worker in the Hitachi Electronic Factory in Tokyo. They all speak English at work. Today, English is the common language in multinational companies in countries from France to Singapore. Singapore. Very good job, Mari. Thank you. And now we go with the next paragraph. And let me ask David, can you help me read this one, please? Who do you say, Piat or Payat? Jean Paul. I, this is like a last name. It's como un last name. So I guess it's French. Payat, let's say. <laughs> okay. Jean Paul Payat works FBR. And it company in Paris. Every day he has meetings with other managers in English. He also reads documents and writes emails in English and speak on the phone in English, the office in other countries. In other countries. Very good, David. Just one thing. Can you help me pronounce this one? IT, like this. IT. 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 Very good, David. Thank you for helping me read. And now let's go with the last paragraph and look at this. And Rene, help me read this one. Um, where multi? Uh, how do you say, teacher? Multinational. Multinational. That's right. Uh, where multinational company? with office all over the world, says Jean Paul, 
we also have some people in our Paris, in our Paris, and often who are in French. We need a common language to communicate. How do you say communicate, teacher? Communicate. Communicate. Mm -hmm. And that language is English. I think it's a good idea. But some people don't like speaking English in a meeting. When in a meeting? Nearly, in um, a meeting? In a meeting. Mm -hmm. In a meeting. When nearly everybody is French. Is French. Very good job, Rene. Just one thing. Can you help me pronounce this one? Nearly. Like that. Nearly. Nearly, teacher. Nearly. Nearly. Very good job, Rene. Thank you for helping me read. And thank you, everybody. Welcome to the ones who came. Let's see. Welcome, Ingrid. Welcome, Kaylin. And now, guys, that you helped me read, we are going to answer these questions. Okay? So, according to the reading, and the first one is, what languages does he speak? Jean Paul, what languages does he speak? And let me ask, let's see. Jacqueline, do you remember what languages what languages that he, does he speak, Jacqueline? Do you remember? Is look at the options. Can you see I the options? English as well. <laughs> what languages does he speak? The one in the reading, Jean Paul, el de la reading. De lo que acabamos de leer, what languages does he speak? Es que se la par, they, I speak English as well. Okay, but what other language? You know, he lives in France, so what other language? English and? What? If he lives in France, he is de Francia, what other language? English and? French, perdón. Very good. Thank you, Jacqueline. That is correct. So, what languages does he speak? English and French. Very good, Jacqueline. Amazing job. And now, let me ask. Welcome, Gerardo. Welcome, Carla. And let's see. This next one is for Ingrid. What do the banker, the waiter, and the factory worker have in common? What do they have in common, Ingrid? Uh, I, I, uh, English. Very good job, Ingrid. That is correct. They all speak English. So let's see. Let's. They all speak English at work. Very good job, Ingrid. Amazing job. And now let me ask Gerardo, what do you think in this one? Where does he work? Where does Jean Paul work, Gerardo? Do you remember? Look at the options. He worked in a G company in Paris. In Paris. Very good job, Gerardo. That is correct. In an IT company. And now let's see this one. Let me ask David. What language does he speak at work, David? English. English. Very good job, David. That is correct. And the last one. Let me ask. Kaylin, what does Jean Paul do, Kaylin? What do you think? The last one, Kaylin. Can you help me read? What does Jean Paul do? You can do it. This one, Kaylin. What does Jean Paul do? Okay, then let me ask Carla. What does Jean Paul do, Carla? Um, he has meeting with managers, read documents, and write email on English. In English. Very good job, Carla. That is correct. Thank you, guys. So now let's see. We have the first one. There you go. So we submit the answer. Very good. And now this one. In this one, guys, we are going to select the correct form of the verb. And you are going to help me. And let's see, let me ask Eduardo, welcome. 
In this one, what do you think is the correct option? I play or I play? I play. Hello, good evening. Uh, good evening. Is play. Play. Very good job, Eduardo. That is correct. And now in this one, let me ask David, my parents, what do you think? Live or leaves? Live in Ramadan. Very good. Live. Live. Amazing job, David. And now in this one, let me ask, oopsie. Let me ask Maria, Tom, what is the correct option, Maria? What do you think? Tom, um, to be right in the morning, uh, time. Listen, listen or listen? Listen. Listen, like that? See, sí. yes. Okay, thank you, Maria. Remember, Tom, okay. when we say Tom, we are talking about he, right? Okay. Okay, so okay. he, he is third person. Who remembers? He is third person. Yeah. And remember, when we are talking about he, she or it, we add S to the verb. Cuando hablamos de he, she o it, le vamos a poner una S al verb. Uh -huh. And okay. Tom okay. es un he. So what do you think, Maria? Uh -huh. uh, listen. Listen. Very good job, Maria. With the, that is correct. And now let me ask, let's see, Mari de Gonzalez, this one is for you. We, what do you think? We eat or we eat? eat? Eat. Very good job, Manny. And now uh, this one. Very good. This one is going to be for Carla. What do you think in this one, Carla? My dog? My dog barks at night. At night. Very good job, Carla. My dog barks at night. And now let's see number six. It's going to be for, see, who else, who else? For Kaylin, number six is for you, Kaylin. What do you think? Mr. Gold, sweeps or sweet? You can do it, Kaylin. It's sweeps. This one? Sí. Okay, very good, Kaylin. Nice job. And remember, guys. Pronounce the S, yes, make it make it a sound. For example, sweeps. Sweeps. Make the S yes sound a lot at the end. And now let's see. Let's go with number seven. And this is going to be for Maddie. What do you think? My brother never watch or watches Maddie. What? Teacher. Which one? Can you repeat, Mari? Which one? Option two. Watch it. Watch it. Very good, Mari. That is correct. And now this one is for Carla. My family go or goes, Carla? Goes. Goes. Very good job, Carla. That is correct. And now in this one, I often... Eduardo, what do you think? What is missing there? I often... Eat. Eat. Very good. That is correct. And now let's go with Maria. Sharon, do or does Maria? What do you think? Does. Does. Very good job, Maria. Amazing job. We are about to finish this one. And let me ask Jacqueline, what do you think in this one, Jacqueline? They take or they take? Hmm. Jacqueline, what do you think is the correct option? You can do it, Jacqueline. Take, teacher. Take. Very good job, Jacqueline. That is correct. And the last one is for Rene. What do you think, Rene? You seldom listen or listens? What is the correct one, Rene? Listen, teacher. Listen. Very good job, Rene. That is correct. So now we finish this one. And now let's go with number three. In this one, you are going to tell me if the question is, is correct or incorrect. 
So let's begin. And this one is for Gerardo. Do Mari swim in the ocean? Is that correct or incorrect, Gerardo? Yes. Yes, incorrect, teacher. Incorrect. Very good job, Gerardo. And why? Because remember, in third person, we use that. Does Mari, this would be the correct one. Does Mari swim or swims? What do you think, Gerardo? Does Mari swim or does Mari swims? Does Mari swim? Swim. Very good. In the question, no S, right? Does Mari swim in the ocean? That would be, esta, this one would be correct. But the one in the question is incorrect. So amazing job, Gerardo. And now let's go with the next one. Let's see, let's submit this one. And we go with number two. And in this one, who is going, Ingrid is going to help me. Do you sing a song? Is that correct or incorrect, Ingrid? Incorrect, teacher. Incorrect? Why? Why is incorrect, Ingrid? Mm. Do you sing a song? Correct or incorrect? Do you? Uh huh. Um, does. Does, okay, nice effort. Does. Remember, we use does with him, she, he? or it. Con esto, we are going to use does. But look at this one. Here we have you. You. Mm -hmm. So this one, correct or incorrect? Uh, correct. Correct. Very good correct. job, Ingrid. Because we are, remember, das is only for, see, let me write it here, das is for he, she, or it. And then we use do for I, you, we, and they. Okay, just keep that in mind. And now let's see, let's, so this one is correct. Let's submit the answer. And now we go with number three. And in this one, Mar, can you help me with number three, Mar? Number three. Mm -hmm. Mar, are you there? You can do it, Mar. Correct. Does I ride the horse? Correct or incorrect, Mar? Just tell me. Correct, incorrect. Okay, then let's go with Kaylin. What do you think? Does I ride the horse? Correct or incorrect, Kaylin? What do you think? You can do it. Incorrect. Incorrect. Very good job, Kaylin. So, why? Why is it incorrect, Kaylin? Does I write? Don't. Do. Very good. So, in this one, we could say, do I? Do I ride a horse? That is the correct option. Do I ride a horse? Thank you, Kaylin. Amazing job. And now let me ask. So let's submit the answer. And now number four is going to be for Mari de Gonzalez. What do you think, Mari? Do she open the door? Correct or incorrect, Mari? Incorrect, teacher. Incorrect. Why? Why is it incorrect, Mari? Why do you think it's incorrect, Mari? Oh, she left, I think. Okay, so in this one, guys, we could say that she opened the door. Okay, so incorrect. Very good job, Mari. And now we have number five. And welcome, Molly. Let's see, this one is going to be for David. Does we jump, correct or incorrect, David? Incorrect. Incorrect, why? Because it is do, do we jump. Do, do we jump, very good job, David. That is correct, so we submit the answer. And now in this one, guys, number four, you are going to select the correct question, okay? These are the answers. 
these ones right here are the answer. And we are going to choose the question. And in this one, let's begin with Oli. What do you think? What would be? Look at the sentence. I work at the National Bank. What is the question, Oli? What do you think? Where, mm -hmm. where do you work? Where do you work? Very good job, Oli. And now this one is going to be for Carla. What do you think? At 8 a.m., what could be the question, Carla? Um, what time do you start work? Very good job, Carla. Amazing. And now this one is for Eduardo. What is the correct option, the correct question? When do you exercise? Very good job, Eduardo. When do you exercise? After work. Very good. And now this one is going to be for Maria. This is the answer, Elsie. So what do you think? What is the question? Uh, what is your name? Very good job, Maria. That is correct. What's your name? Elsie. Mm -hmm. Now, number five, let me ask Jacqueline with Jessica. What could be the question, Jacqueline? Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do what what no? Why does you molest your lunch? Okay, what does it? Why? Okay, but this is the answer with Jessica. With Jessica, what could be the question? With I, Jessica, mm -hmm. no is to uh, to do, do, do you. Do you work with? Okay, very good. Jacqueline, just one thing. Can you help me pronounce this one? Who, like this. Who do you work with? Who do you work with? Very good job, Jacqueline. That is correct. Who do you work with? And then you say with Jessica or with Juanito. And now number, sweet, number, number six is going to be for Mari. What do you think, Mari? Number six. Because I don't have time to prepare it. Prepare it. What is the question? Um, the answer is, why does your mother make your lunch? Very good job, Mari. That is correct. Why does your mother make your lunch? Amazing, amazing. Now, number seven is going to be for Gerardo. What do you think? He's 24. What could be the question, Gerardo? What do you think, Gerardo? What could be the question? He's 24. Okay, then let me ask Rene, what could be the question? He's 24. How old is he, teacher? Very good job, Rene, that is correct. How old is he? He's 24, amazing job, guys. And now, do you have any questions so far or everything clear? Feel free, if you have any questions, you can tell me, guys, about any of these sentences. It's clear, teacher. Okay, thank you, Rene. If you don't have questions, let's continue. You can stop me at any point. Me pueden detener en cualquier momento if you have a question about something. And now look at this one, number five. We are going to look at the picture and then we are going to use these, that, these, or those to describe the images. So look at this. We have the pictures right here. And let me ask, this one is going to be for Oli. What do you think? These or that? Oli? That are earrings. Which one? That. That, okay. Let's look at the picture. Look at this. That is for singular, for one thing, that. And look at this. Earring 
We have two, right? So earrings is plural. So what do you think? That or these? These are earrings. Very good, Jovali. That is correct. These are earrings because we have two earrings. Now this one. Let me ask. Them. Let me ask Carla. What do you think? These or that, Carla? Mm, that is a ring. Very good job, Carla. Just one thing. Can you help me pronounce ring? Ring. Ring. Very good job, Carla. Ring. So we submit these answers. And now look at this one. We have more pictures right here. And let me ask. This one is going to be for Eduardo. What do you think? Let's see. The correct option. Those is a bag. This is a bag. Or that is a bag. It's This here. is a bag. Very good job, Eduardo. This is a bag. And now in this one, let me ask. Kaylin, what do you think? Those are glasses? These are glasses? Or that are glasses, Kaylin? What do you think? Those. Those. Very good job, Kaylin. Because it's far and it's plural. Glasses. And now number five, this one is going to be for... Maria, what do you think, Maria? Those, that, this, or that? That. That. Very good job, Maria. That is a watch. Amazing job, guys. And now let's submit this one. And now in this one, guys, we are going to fill in this blank space with the correct form of the verb to be. And this one, let what? me ask Carla, what? what do you think? What is missing there, Carla? What? 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 Yes, there we go. Thank what? you, Carla. That is correct. What is your name? Very good job. And now this one is going to be for Kaylin. Where? What is missing there? What do you think? You can do it, Kelly. Where and what is the correct option from all of these words? Where are you learn? Where does you learn? Where do you learn? What do you think? Are. Are? Where are you learn? Okay, nice, Kelly. Look at this. This question is in the simple present. Do you remember the auxiliaries for simple presence? No. And can you help me pronounce do like this? Where mm. do? Where do. do? Very good. Where do you learn? And thank you, Kaylin. That is correct. Where do you learn? And now number three. It's going to be for David. What do you think? Number three. What is the correct option here? The second R. R. Very good. That is correct. And in this one, guys, it's very important. Some of these words are in... In... What is the word? As you can see, we have different R's, but the ones that I forgot the words, se me olvidó la word, guys, but las que están en mayúsculas, for example, this one right here. These are the ones that go at the beginning. Estas van a, van a ir al inicio porque están en mayúsculas, but these ones go in the middle. Estas van en el middle porque son minúsculas, okay? Let me search for the word. Voy a buscar la word porque olvidé cómo decir mayúsculas y minúsculas. Okay, now number four. Let's go with René. What do you think in number four, René? How old? <coughs> How old are you, teacher? Are. Very good. Are very uh, good. Minúscula. 
very good, Zenith. That is correct. And now in this one, let me ask Ingrid, number five. What do you think, Ingrid? What is missing there? Oh. Very good job, Ingrid. And can you help me pronounce do? Like this. Do. Do. Very good job, Ingrid. Do you have many friends? And now we go with number six. Oli, what do you think? What? Does your father... Very good job, Oli. That is correct. And now in this one, let me ask Gerardo, number seven. What is missing there, Gerardo? Does. Does. Very good job. Work. That's very good job, Gerardo. That is correct. Does your mother work? Now, number eight, let me ask, let's see, let me ask Jacqueline. Who uh -huh. is, is, very good job, Jacqueline, who is your best friend? And now the last one is going to be for Jenny. This one is for you, Jenny. What is missing there? What do you think, Jenny? What is missing in that blank space? Is... Uh -huh. Are you a good puppy? Very good job. Are you a happy person? There we go. Very good job, Jenny. That is correct. And now we submit. And remember, if we have a capital capital letter, a capital letter, a mayúscula, remember, these ones are going to go at the beginning. Van a ir al inicio de la question or at the beginning of the sentence. And now, let's see, we are going to submit this one. Tell me. Tell me, David. The word is uppercase and lowercase. Which one is? For mayúscula and minúscula. Mm -hmm. In this one is, um, is in lowercase because it goes at the middle. That's what yeah. you mean with the question? No, it's... Uh, <laughs> it's uh, only... You... Uh, the word, lowercase uh, and uppercase. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, those yeah. are the words. But you can also say capital letter. Para decir mayúscula, se puede decir uppercase oh, okay. y también capital letter. The one that you want. And okay. now, but thank you for mentioning the words. I completely forgot those words. Thank you, David. And now, guys, do you have any question with this activity or everything is clear? It's clear, teacher. Okay, thank you, Mari. If everything is clear, see, let's submit this one. And now we go with number seven. See, we are already in seven. Let's see. Number one. In this one, guys, we are going to select if the action is happening now or in the future. Remember, happening now, it means right now, in this moment. And in the future is, for example, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. So you are going to help me decide. And this one is going to be for Eduardo. I'm having lunch with Lorena tomorrow after. What do you think about? It's future. Future, very good job, Eduardo, because it is tomorrow. And now this one is for René. What? Is this in a future or happening right now? Happening now, teacher. Happening now. Amazing job, Rene. And now this one is going to be for Ingrid, number three. I'm driving to work. Future or happening now? Um, happening now. Happening now. Very good, Ingrid. That is correct. And now number four. 
Number four is going to be for Oli. What do you think, Oli? Dave and Jay are coming back to Paris on Friday morning. What do you think, Oli? Future. Future, very good, Oli. Amazing job. This one is for Jenny. You're watching TV. What is it, Jenny? Future or happening now, Jenny? What do you think? You can do it. Jenny, are you there? Okay, then let me ask, let me ask Kaylin, what do you think? Kaylin, you are watching TV. Happening now or future? Kaylin, are you there? You can do it, you can do it. You are watching TV, future? Or happening in the moment, Kaylee. Okay, then let's go with Carla. What do you think, Carla? You are watching watching TV, future or happening now, Carla? Um, happening now. Happening now. Very good job, Carla. That is correct. And now number six is going to be four. Let's see, let's go with Davi is number six. What do you think? We are going on vacation next month. What do you think? What is the correct option? Future. Future. Very good job, David. And now the last one is going to be for Maria. What do you think, Maria? Sean is calling me later today. Hmm? What do you think, Maria? Future or happening now? Happening now. Happening now? Okay, nice. Look at this. He's calling me later. What is the meaning of later? Who knows what is the meaning of later, guys? Later. Which one? The meaning of later? It means no. más tarde. So what do you think? Future or happening uh -huh. now? Uh, future. Future. Very good job, Maria. So this one would be future. And now I think everything is correct. We are going to submit the answer. And now look at this. We have number eight. Oh, let's see. We still have time. We're going to try to finish. Number eight. So. You are going to look at the price and then we are going to match the price with the item. So look at this one. What item is 39 is 39? Look at the picture. What item is 39? Let's see, let me zoom in. What item is 29? This one is going to be for Eduardo, what item is 39? The skirt or the boots? The skirt. The skirt, very good job. That is correct. And now, which one is 25? The purse or the hat? 25, 25. The purse or the hat? This one is for Oli. What is 25 euros? The hat. The hat. Very good job, Oli. That is correct. And now, which one is 42? Let's see. The sweater or the shirt? This one is for Jenny. What item is 42 euros? The, the shirt or the sweater? The, the sweater. The sweater. Very good job, Jenny. Now, number four is for Carla. Which one is 17? The socks or the gloves? Carla? Uh, the gloves. The gloves. Amazing job, Carla. And the last one. What is 19? What is 19? Look at the picture. 19, 19. And this one is going to be for... For Mari. What is 19? The stockings or the pair of boots? The stockings. Very good job, Mari. That is correct. So we submit the end. And now look at this one. We go with exercise number nine. So in this one, we are going to choose the number 
that we have in letter right here. So this one is going to be four, C. Let's go with Ingrid. What do you think? How much is the t-shirt? It is 12. Which one is it? One or two? What is the correct option, Ingrid? Number one or number two? Are you there, Ingrid? Oh, perdón, chair. Sorry. Um, Don't worry. Uh, two? Two. Very, very good job, Ingrid. Twelve. That is correct. So we submit the answer. Now, look at this. How much is the skirt? Fifty-eight. So let me ask, René, number one or number two? Number one, teacher. Number one, very good job. That is correct, René, 58. So we submit. Number three, the dress is 148. So this one is for Eduardo, number one or number two? Number two. Number two. Very good. That is correct. So we submit the answer. And now this one is going to be for Mari. What do you think? We are going to match the items with the names. Items with the names. So Mari, why is this? It's a backpack. A backpack. Very good job, Mari. And now these two, let me ask Jacqueline, what are these, Jacqueline? Earrings. Very good job, Jacqueline. Earrings. Can you help me pronounce this one like this? Earrings. 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 Very good job, Jacqueline. Those are earrings. And now let's go with the last one. And this one is for... For Jenny, what is this, Jenny? It's a bag. It's a bag. Very good job, Jenny. So we submit the answers. And now we have more. We have more items. And this one is going to be for Maddie. What do you think, Maddie? What is this? It's a wallet, teacher. It's a wallet. Very good, Maddie. Now this one is going to be for Ingrid. What is this, Ingrid? What is this, Ingrid? A wallet, a ring, or glasses? You can do it, Ingrid. Can then let me ask Kaylee. Ring. A ring. Very good job, Ingrid. Thank you so much. And now this one is for Kaylee. What is this, Kaylee? Wallet, ring, or glasses? What do you think, Kaylee? You can do it. Glasses. Glasses. Very good. That is correct. We have glasses. So, let's see, we submit the answer. And now in this one, you guys are going to help me read. So, let's begin with Carla. Help me read the first, this first line. This one. Until this period. Okay. Help me read, Carla. The original pancake place. Mm -hmm. I love original pancake place on Main Street. Their famous apple pancakes are my favorite. They are delicious, but they are sweet and very fattering. Mm -hmm. Very good job, Carla. Thank you for helping me read. Now, let me ask, Eduardo, can you keep going from this one till the end? The restaurant has got other items on their menu, but they aren't great. The chicken is spicy 
and the hamburger with chips is very oily. So go to the original pancake place, but only order the apple pancakes. The restaurant is open every day from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. To 10 p.m. Very good job, Eduardo. Thank you for helping me read. And now in this one, guys, we are going to choose true or false. So let's begin with Oli. What do you think? The pancakes are very healthy. True or false, Oli? It's false. It's false. Very good job. That is correct. And now let's see. Let me ask. David, what do you think? The original pancake place only serves pancakes? True or false? False. False. Very good, David. And now number three is going to be for Gerardo. The chicken and the hamburger with chips are delicious. True or false, Gerardo? False. False. Very good, Gerardo. And now we submit this one. And now look at this one. We are about to finish. Number four, the reviewer recommends the restaurant. What do you think, Mari? The reviewer recommends the restaurant. True or false, Mari? It's true. It's true. It's true. Very good job, Mari. Amazing job. And now this one, let's see. Let's go with... Dun, 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 dun. Let's go with... David, what do you think in this one? The restaurant isn't open in the afternoon. True or false, David? False. False. Very good job. So now, let's see. We are about to finish. We submit the answers. There we go. Now in this one, guys, you are going to select The cooking technique. The cooking technique. So in this one, let's begin with Maria. What, what is this technique, Maria? Baked, roasted, or pickled? Pickled. Pickled. Very good job, Maria. There, pickled. Now in this one, let me ask Eduardo. What? What is this? This apple pie. Baked, roasted, or pickled? Baked. Baked. Very good job, Eduardo. That is correct. And now in this last one, let me ask Jacqueline. This chicken is baked, roasted, or pickled, Jacqueline? Roasted. Roasted. Very good job, Jacqueline. So let's submit these ones. And finally, we got to the last question. And let's see, in this one, let's go with, let's go with Kaylin. These oysters are steamed, they're fried, or raw, Kaylin? What do you think? Raw. Raw, very good. They are raw, like sushi, right? Raw. And now in this one, let me ask. Oli, these are steamed, they're fried, or raw? Oh. Which one? Steamed. Steam. Very good job, Oli. That is correct. And finally, the last one. This one is going to be for Rene. What do you think? Steamed, stir fried, or raw? Mm. Stir fried, teacher. Very good job, Rene. That is correct. So we submit this one. And look at this. You got a hundred. Very good job, guys. Thank you for helping me complete. So if you already if you already finished, congratulations to you. And if you haven't finished, remember to complete this exam. And now, guys, we are going to do, we only have 10 minutes. So we are going to do a short review. So let's see. In this one, we are going to review some of the activities that we did. So any topic that you guys would like to re reinforce, 
help me choose. We have the, the simple present. We have future arrangements. How plus adjectives. Which one would you like to practice? What do you think? Mari, which one would you like to practice? The simple present, how plus adjective, or this one? Or let's see who wants to... Let, then let me ask David, which one would you like to practice? This one, simple present, how plus adjectives, or the future arrangement? Help me choose. Which one do you want? Future. Future. Okay, thank you, David. So we are going to practice this one, guys. The future arrangement. Okay, very good. There we go. So in this one, guys, remember, we can use the present participle to talk about the present. But we can also use it to talk about the future, depending on the phrase that we use. So let's see. Let me ask Rene, what do you think? I'm working at this moment, present or future, Rene? Rene, what do you think? I'm working at this moment, present or future? Uh, don't worry, don't worry. You are going to help me choose. I'm working at this moment. Is that present or future, Rene? Uh, present, teacher. Present. Very good job. We select present. And now we have this one. And let me ask, Mari, it's raining. Let's go home. Present or future, Mari? Present, teacher. Present. Very good. And now, let's see, let me ask, Kaylin, in this one, what do you think? Future or present, Kaylin? Kaylin, what do you think? Present or future? Kaylin, you can do it. Present or future? Okay, and then let me ask Carla. She is going to the doctor next week. Present or future, Carla? Um, future. Future. Very good job, Carla. Amazing job, guys. So basically, to know if it's present or future, you need to pay attention to the phrases. For example, if we have tomorrow or next week, next year, you already know that is future. So very good, guys. You did an amazing job. And now let's try with the last activity. Let's see which other one. And let's see, we are going to practice. Let's practice could. Look at this. And in this one, guys, you are going to help me find the correct position for these sentences using could. Remember, could is to talk about an ability in the past. In the past. Una habilidad del past. So let me ask. Oli, how do I find the correct position for this sentence, Oli? Okay, let me ask, see, Maria, what is the correct position for this one, Maria? Using could. Remember, it's subject. Let's see. Let me write it here. Yes. I went. Is let's see. Let me help. Subject plus could. Has so the subject you said I right? I. Mm -hmm. I. I went. 
I... Look at this. The object flat. <laughs> I call very good and then let's write here password. Okay, um, so I, I could. Mm -hmm. I could read. I could read very good. What I could read? I could read. Uh, Mm -hmm. I could books very good. I could read books. Mm -hmm. There you go. When I was five, so that is an ability in the past. I could read books when I was five. And now in this one, let me ask Eduardo. What do you think? What is the correct position for this one? What do you think about it? What is the correct position of this sentence? I couldn't write. Very good. Same. I couldn't write. Very good. In the kindergarten. In the kindergarten. Very good job, Eduardo. That is correct. And now this one is going to be for David. What do you think? What is the correct position for this sentence? David, what do you think? What is the correct position for this one? Um, let me see. You can do it. I couldn't. Very good. No, I was couldn't. I was couldn't. I was couldn't? Okay. Let's see. Let me write the structure for now. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I couldn't was I I couldn't very good. See? I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Was was okay. What is the verb in this one? After could we write the verb? So what do you think? The verb in the base form. And oh, what speak. is the verb speak? Very good. So in this case, it's verb in base form. Huh? I couldn't speak. Mm -hmm. um, when mm -hmm. I was very good when there you go when I was three years old three years old very good job David amazing job three years old with good guys remember that we use the verb in the base form so it would be remember the subject Plus could, or depending if it's negative, it would be could not. But it's the same structure. And then plus the verb in the base form. There we go. In the base form. So let's finish this one. Three years old. There we go. Amazing job, David. And now, guys, we are about to finish. Thank you for joining to the class. And let me ask you, guys, do you have any question? Feel free to ask if you have any doubt, any concern, any question about any topic. Tell me, let me know. Yes, no, maybe. Okay, very good. If you don't have questions, guys, it was really nice to meet you. It was really nice to work with you. And this is our last class from this module. And congratulations to everybody for finishing. You are doing amazing, guys. So keep going. And yes, it was really nice meeting you guys. Take care. If you don't have Thank questions, you. that is it Thank for you, today. You. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. Good night. It was, a it was mine. Thank you, guys. See you. Take care.